All right. <clears throat> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Y'all still rocking with me. See, y'all still rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, share, follow. Appreciate it. Um, I had to get back to the, the timeline. Okay, so I went through the drug program. You know what I'm saying? The one in Calusa County, I told you, was up in the, in the mountains. It was like a camp. You know what I'm saying? It was actually a cool-ass camp. You know what I'm saying? It was actually a cool-ass camp. You know what I mean? I would suggest to anybody going through, so if, if that program, they need that, you know what I'm saying, for a lot of youngsters or even people who need to just get away, you know what I'm saying, because it was in the mountains and it was actually the cool-ass atmosphere. My first seen deer and animals and shit. It was actually cool, you know what I'm saying. But uh, like I said, when I got out, uh, you know, they let you go back. I went back home, so back around San Francisco, I'm back at home. So when I go back to San Francisco, remember I told you most of my people's moved away. You know what I'm saying moved out of the city. So I had family member out family members out there, but the people who houses who I was paroled to, they wasn't there anymore. So I went to my brother's house. My brother was like, Yeah, you can come, man, you come here, don't even trip. It's cool at my brother's house, you know what I'm saying? That's my that's my big homie. That's my big brother, you feel me? But I didn't want to just be having to parole people at his spot in the whole get down. But um I paroled there. When I that was why a violation. Prison was like, hold on, you did violate. I'm like, all right, but now, it was like, so what? You violated with them, so you must have did something, so we gonna lock you up. I actually talked to the parole officer, dude, dude was tripping, dude was tripping, you feel me? And he didn't lock me up, but he was like, look, I need to see you once a week, you're gonna drug test, you're gonna do this, you're gonna get a job, you're gonna do all this, that, and the other. I'm like, oh, he is tripping, you know what I'm saying? Because the first person I had was a lady before, she was hella cool. I think she liked me, you know but she was hella cool, you feel me? So, but he was tripping. He was like an African dude. He was like, oh, he wasn't having no nonsense. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, man. All right, you see, I'm going back. You know what I'm saying? So I tried to keep up with some of his rules for like a couple of weeks. And then I was, I'm cool. I'm on the run. <laughs> back again on the run, you feel me? Now, at this time, I'm like 23. 23. So I'm out, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not finna. I told my brother, I was like, just let him know, you feel me? I'm 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 out, you feel me? Cause he he was like, all right, fuck it, you feel me? So I'm I'm out. I can't do this. Now, like I said, I'm 23. So I'm out. And I hated being on the run because you can't do shit. I don't care what motherfuckers say. When you're on the run from parole, you can't do shit. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't finna be hiding out. The only way you can run from any type of parole, you better be rich. And I was a little far from that, you know what I'm saying? So it was just all bad for a minute, but now check out for the next one. Peace. <laughs>